It's okay, you know, at least you know, this is the truth, this is from God. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Uh, I'll follow my fellow uh, friend's steps. No he already be become yeah, Muslim, why don't you do that, like him, now? Uh, if he's your friend, and, you, and that's why we wanted for you the good, like we like for him. So just don't be reluctant, don't be hesitant to accept the truth. Yeah, yeah. If the truth is there, the truth, my friend, is to be followed. Yeah? For example, if I told you this is the truth, to be followed, not to be ignored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get, I get. What okay then. Yeah, but uh, it's my, it's my rule to have to take time with things. Like, uh, now I we always we have to question if our rule is the best rules or are they the, are they the best rules or are they, the, the which or, or shall we follow the rules of God? Uh, which which rules we should follow? Our rules or the rules of God? God. Uh, okay. And God told us. If we know the truth, you have to embrace it. So not to delay it. So if you know it's the truth, and it's so simple and so straightforward, do you believe? I'll embrace it. Okay. Why not? I take time. To take time to understand it, or to take time for what? If you understand it, to take time to understand. Like I want to understand more. Do you understand there is one God? Yeah, yeah. Do you understand that God has sent prophets and messengers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand this? Yeah, 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 I understand. Those are prophets and messengers. One of them is Muhammad, peace be upon him. Do you understand this? Do you understand this? Yeah. Do you accept this? Uh, that means, if you, if you understand, you accept this, that means technically, brother, you're a Muslim. Yeah, yeah. I understand you, but I have to take a little bit of time and I have to like, uh, read the rules and everything. You know? yeah. We will, we, as I said to you, it's a steps. You don't need to do everything in one go today, but you do what you know. Do what you know and accept and follow the following one. That's how it is. I'll take, uh, I'll take a little bit of time. Inshallah. Now, it's for you here. That's an advice for you. Alhamdulillah, first of all, that you have accepted Islam. That's a good thing. Now, the second step, which I just wanted to advise you. In Islam, is a journey of learning. So every day that you try to learn and what you learn, you implement. You, you put it in practice. Secondly, as well that the most, the second important thing in Islam is the prayer, the Salah, yeah? We pray five times a day. The Salah came from the term Sila in Arabic, which means connection. So it is connection between you and God. So that's why always be in connection with your Creator all the time, especially in the five daily prayer. So that's why it, it keep you firstly, it keep you always in communication with God. Always you supplicate, you ask God, you submit your will to His will. That's the key thing. Thirdly, you try your, the best to your ability to live in a, a, a you devote, you devote yourself to God, to the best of your ability. Meaning to abstain from the wrong things. To abstain from uh, things which is like, for example, fornication or drinking alcohol and other things, which things which is prohibited in Islam. Salaam wa rahmatullahi wa rahmatullahi wa Yeah? Abstain from the wrong deeds and try to do more of the righteous deeds. As we know that we Muslims, other than we pray, we try to fast the, we fast the month of Ramadan. We try to pay charity. We pay charity, we give donation for the poor and the needy ones. So we don't live just only for ourselves. We live for, for God. And whatever serves God, we do it. That's how it is. This is the beauty of it in Islam. And so that's why I try your best. I know you told me you're from Estonia, yes? Yeah. So do you, go, do you have a local mosque around you? Yeah, we have. Uh, yeah, we have one. one. Really? Where about? Are you in capital? In the capital? Uh, yeah, in capital yeah. There is one. There is one mosque there. No, uh, overall in Estonia. Huh? Overall in Estonia, I think that one. Yeah. Okay. I don't think it's a mosque. It's like a pray. You can pray there. And, uh, yeah. Then go. At least go there. Is there some Muslims there? Is yeah, there any Muslims yeah, yeah, there yeah, in Estonia? Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 So try to go to the to the mosque and ask. Try to learn how to pray. Try to do this. You good. You good the prayer mat. Yes. No, he hasn't gotten it. You, you're not giving. Where is the prayer mat? Where are the prayer mat? There are not prayer mat. Subhanallah. Okay. They will will try to get you. If you're, you're gonna be in the park, you, are, are you gonna be in the park or are you gonna leave soon? We're leaving. We have to take a flight today. Okay. Where is the prayer mat? Where is the prayer mat? We need the prayer mat. Okay, where is Ali? Abdul Samad. Can I ask? Jabi. Does Ali, 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 does he have any prayer mats in his car?
because the brother he just took shahada we need a prayer mat for him and he's going to Estonia he is going to Estonia because we need to get him a prayer mat okay hopefully will, they will try to get you one but if you if they didn't give you one just go there is a, a website called Salah plus s a l a h plus yeah try to log in there and as well you put your details and then we could send it to you but we wanted you to have it before you go um let me see the brother inshallah is going to try to get you one hopefully that he that there is one he has hopefully he will get one inshallah let's see inshallah ta'ala one second so uh what's your name my brother Harry. huh Harry. harun Harry. Harry. Okay, nice to meet you, brother. And your name, brother? Andrew. Andrew. Nice to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you. Uh, so, uh, how old are you, by the way, both of you? 18, 16. 16? Inshallah. Are you friends or just or, or, or related? Are you relatives? Friends. Okay, mashallah. And um, what made you to come to the point, to the conclusion to become a Muslim? Uh, we were just walking through the park and we uh, saw this. He said he's been talking about uh, religion a lot, so he respects it. Okay. And you, you were not talking about religion a lot in the past? It, uh, we discussed something, but you know, <laughs> he talks more. He knows more. Yeah, I understand. Because you know, sometimes, you know, many people who came from Christian background, Christianity stopped making sense to the people. Like God to become a man, to forgive the people, all of these things. Is, it doesn't make sense. But it befits God that he is. If you to repent to God, God will forgive. If you ask God forgiveness, God will forgive you. Doesn't need to go through, uh, for example, all of these, all what the Christians are, are describing to go to uh, to come in the form of a man. How, how do you ask for uh, forgiveness though? Is it uh, through praying? Yeah, that's the prayer. You ask forgiveness. Oh God, forgive me. God will forgive you. Okay. Seek forgiveness. How long uh, does the prayer has to be? Which prayer? Are you talking about the prayer or are you talking about the Salah? Because we have the Salah, it contains, it contains a prayer, it contains supplication. Prayer. But, you re, meaning the Salah, the five daily prayer, which we do. Yeah, it contains supplication, it contains prayer. And it contains, you recite portion of them from the Quran, like for example, this is the first chapter, which we read it generally. Yeah. Yeah. You see here. Uh, and that's the translation of it. Yeah. So it contains this. And it contains as well certain positions. We bow to God, we prostrate to God, we ask God forgiveness, we ask God, you know, um, to guide us to the right path. That is the key thing. That's how we do things in Islam. Yeah? yeah. Does that make sense? So, when do you think you will be accepting Islam? If you, when do you think you're going to be ready? Time. Okay. I will go back to Estonia and I will. Yeah. Hopefully, the, uh, did the brother get your details? Or, yeah? Okay. So, what I will do, inshallah ta'ala, we have this, the WhatsApp number. Do you use WhatsApp? Huh? Do you have WhatsApp? You don't have WhatsApp? How, what's, how we can communicate with you? Finished, yeah? Allah al -Mustan. So, yeah, okay. Ask Ali if he has it in his car. Let's see, inshallah. Hopefully he has one prayer mat in the car or something. I have in my car, but my car is a bit uh, distant. If you want, my, my friend, if you want, if you want to, if, if he doesn't have in his car, I will go to my car to get you one, yeah? My car is just, I need to walk a bit to get it, yeah? You want to wait for me here? Yeah? Just only give me five minutes. I will try to get it from the car and get it back, yeah? Just give me just five minutes, all right? We start standing, we raise our hand, yeah? Uh, I need someone, I need someone to help me. Uh, Jabi, Jabi, can you come please here a minute? I need someone to hold this for me. Yeah? Hold this, yeah. Hold, hold it from both sides. No, hold, hold, hold here, hold here. Yeah. Okay. So you see here in the beginning of it, yeah. If you want, just maybe let's get the camera to be to record what we are teaching here. You see, in the beginning we say Allahu Akbar. We raise our hand like this. We say Allahu Akbar. Always we stand 
we have to stand first. Before that, there are certain things we need to do. So when you go home, just take a shower, yeah? And then, as well, you could learn through, there is, uh, I will send you, uh, because I will try to send you the a video how to make ablution, which is the wudu, before you start the prayer. And then we start the salah by raising our hand like this, we say, Allahu Akbar, yes? And then, here which we recite, this is the Fatiha, the third chapter of the Quran. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Ar Rahmanir Rahim, Malik Yomid Deen, Iyaka Nabudu, Iyaka Nastain, Ihdina Sarat al Mustaqim, Sarat al Ladina and Amta Alayhim, Rayril Mahbubi Alayhim, Walla Dalin Amin. And the meaning of it, in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Praise be to Allah, the Lord of the world, the most gracious, the most merciful, the owner of the day of judgment. It is you and only you we worship, and it is you and only you we seek aid and help. Guide us to the straight path, the path of those whom you have favored, not the path of those who went astray, not the path of those who gained Allah's anger, nor the path of, of those who went astray. And then you say, Ameen. This is the, this is the one. Then after that, we say, Allahu Akbar means Allah is the greatest. Then we bow. You see here, like this. This is in the direction of Mecca, in that direction. And then in this position to say, Subhan Rabbi al Azim. And even as a new Muslim, just say subhanAllah means you're exalting God, that's good. Then you raise from bowing. And then here you say, you go to prostration. You say, Allah, you go to the prostration again. You see here the full prostration. Your forehead, nose on the floor, the palm of the hand on the floor only, knees and the, the back of the feet, you see here, on the floor. And you say, uh, and you say subhanAllah al-A'la, means you're exalting Allah. The highest, the highest one, and then you do this twice. Then you sit between them, and then you do the second time, and then you repeat. This is the whole, the whole one. It is something is good, and you could book online, yeah, a, a private on here on this one. You just do here, here. Just go to salahplus.com, and then you could book an uh, an instructor, yeah. The, someone will teach you how to pray online. They will do it over the Zoom, yeah. And it will be helpful for you. You have the mat? You have the mat, my, my friend? Yeah? yeah? Thank you okay. You are welcome, my brother. I will take action. Yes, please. We wanted you to take action, and we are happy, inshallah, for you, my brother, that you became Muslim. Let me put it for you here. Do you have any questions for me, my brother? Do you want to take my number to ask me if you want a question? Okay. I already, we already, I'm his teacher, by the way, so I could. Uh, does he did he take your number? Yeah. Okay, I will get you his number from you, and then after that I will will be in communication with you. All right, all right, take care. All right, salam alaikum. All right, my friend, take care. All right, salam.